so dear children good morning to all of you this is maniksha going to continue the topics of the life lines of national economy so today we shall be dealing with the railway services the railways services which are the important mode of transportation for goods and passengers in india so it is providing multifarious activities like business sightseeing pilgrimage along with transportation of goods over a long distances so dear children here we understand that railway services it is providing better services to the nations here it is providing different kind of services because of this railway networking we are able to do business activities we are able to go to a uh, tourist place we are able to go to a uh, long distance with a very short period of times and at the same times it is covering the transportation of goods over a long distances with a very short period of time so here we understood that the railway networking is providing better services here that is why it is known as the most important or it is the principal mode of transportation so apart from that dear children here we need to understand that the railway services it is providing services since over a long period of times since for a long time it is providing services here and right from 1900 sorry right from uh, 1800 it is been providing greater services here we know that the first train which was started from mumbai to thane it was happened in the year 1853 so here the railway networking it is binding the economic life of the country here due to these railway services we are doing several kind of activities we are accelerating the development of industries the development of agricultural sectors all these are happening with these railway services that is why it is considered one of the most important services in india so this railway the indian railway has a network of 7300 stations sorry 7031 stations over a route of 63200 km so in india we are having the railway networking it is nearly 7031 stations and it is having a route of 63200 km that means it is covering a distance of 63200 km and also at the same time we are having a fleet of 7817 locomotives and the passengers Uh, the passenger services is 5321 vehicles 4904 the services and other coaches vehicles at the same time the wagons are 228 170s according to the estimations which was taken on 34th march 2004 here the indian railway is now reorganized into 16 zones here so here we understood that the railway services it is spreading all over the nations it is one of the greater network in india which is causing the transportation activities it is helping us to reach one place to another place with a very short period of time that is for dear children we understand that the railway networking is very important here
So dear children, as we are understanding the importance of railway services in India, so the railway services it is been distributed, uh, it is been distributed pattern of the railway network in the country. It is been influenced by several kind of things that is such as physiographic, economic, and administrative factor here. So here the most favorable. things in india is the northern plains area the northern plains area it is very very favorable for the constructions of railway network or the for, for the constructions of railway lines in india because the the northern plains area it is vast land level it is high population density it is very rich in agricultural resources that is why it is providing the favorable conditions for the growth of railway network in here so dear children in india the first railway line or the the first railway service it was started in the year 1853 between mumbai and thane which was covering a distance of 35 34 km so here there are so many challenges the railway networking is facing here while spreading the network of railway lines so we need to understand that there are certain areas such as uh, in the bridge uh, where there is a river it's very difficult to connect the railway lines here because when we are spreading the railway lines in river area we need to construct the bridge here apart from that dear children we understand that in the hilly areas also in the hilly areas the low hills area in the gaps of tunnels in all this area we see the constructions of railway lines so it's very difficult to spread the railway tracks in all these area in spite of that also the railway services is taking much more pain in order to spread or in order to provide better services to those places which are uh, not at all suitable to spread the railway lines and railway tracks here so in the himalaya regions we see that it's very difficult to spread the railway network here why it's very difficult dear children here we understand that because of uh the due to sudden factors it is very difficult to spread the railway network in the himalaya regions and uh, they they uh, th those are known as the unfavorable conditions uh, such as high relief features the sparse populations and lack of economic activities due to all these factor dear children the himalaya regions it's very unfavorable to spread the railway network and railway services at the same time it is seen and it is been felt that it is very difficult to lay lines in the sandy plains area of rajasthan and also the swamps of gujarat the forest areas of madhya pradesh chatisgarh and odisha because these areas also where we see lot of challenges here and due to all these challenges and difficulties it's very difficult to spread the railway lines in all these regions due to all these unfavorable conditions which is not at all suitable for the spreading of railway networking in india so dear children right now so children we understand that the railway services is providing economic development to the nations in spite of that also there are lot of challenges which faced by the railway services here i was telling you the importance that in india the railway networking is providing better services to us with the help of railway services we are reaching the longer distance with a short period of time 
it is helping us to transport the goods from one place to another place it is also providing us a services of seeing the tourist place so all these services which are provided by the railway network railway services in spite of that also there are certain challenges which we need to overcome which is faced by the railway services here and those challenges are there are passengers who are traveling without a ticket so without a ticket people who are living in the society they are traveling from one place to another places so here the railway services or railway ministry is having lot of losses here and what is that losses because people are not alert here they are not careful here uh, if we are traveling without a ticket then what is the uh, ill effects which are happening to the nations it will affect the national economy here so people needs to be very careful they need to travel by having a tickets here so we need to travel by having a proper ticket here but what are the ill effects people are traveling without tickets here then other certain difficulties and challenges we see uh, which are causing by people and what they are doing the theft as well as people are damaging to the railway property here many people are doing they are uh, they are stealing the railway resources they are stealing the railway resources they are damaging the railway property people are unnecessarily doing the uh, pulling of chain unnecessarily they are causing heavy damages to railway networking so we need to overcome all the challenges which i have highlighted here otherwise what will happen the railway ministry will be having great losses here if we are very careful in uh, utilizing the railway services then it will develop the national economy so my dear children here i was trying to tell you about the importance of railway services in india in india uh, before i conclude the sessions i would like to tell you that the railway uh, tracks it is been divided into three category first one is the broad gauge the metro gauge as well as the narrow gauge so this is the divisions of the railway tracks which we see in india here so when we understood the importance of railway ministry and its services we need to be very very careful so being a proper citizens being a good citizens of the nations we need to take care all these things in the society because we need to use the railway services very carefully otherwise what will the ill effects which are going to happen we are going to face lot of challenges in the society our national economy will not be developing it is not going to develop so dear children thus we understood that the railway network and railway services is very very important for the nations to develop the agriculture to develop the industry as well as to develop the society we shall be having continuation in next classes thank you so much